everyone, welcome to Storytime. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to read books about the snow. Oh, we are getting lots of snow this winter. But before we get started, let's do a little stretching. And are you ready for our hello song, everyone? Here we go. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like that. We wave hello to all our friends. We wave hello, hello. Oh, thank you, everyone. So today, we are going to start off with the luckiest snowball. Do you like to make snowballs outside? Oh, here, let's pretend to make one. Are you ready, guys? All right, we're gonna get the snow and we're gonna pack up that snow. And oh, look, we have a snowball. But what should we do with the snowball? I'm not sure, but let's read the luckiest snowball story and see what happens to this snowball. The Luckiest Snowball by Elliot Kroloff. Okay, here we go, everybody. The Luckiest Snowball by Elliot Kroloff. It's winter and Everything is covered in a blanket of snow. Izzy likes the snow. It's soft and cold. You can pick it up and pack it too. All right, guys, should we pick up the snow? Here we go and let's pack it. Oh, nice, everyone. You have your snow? Okay. Oh, you think we should throw the snowball? Wait, don't throw it. Don't throw it yet. Can we say stop? Stop! Are you talking to me, Izzy asks? Yes, says the snowball. If you throw me, blam, that's the end of me. Oh, I'm so sorry, says Izzy. Let's do something else, says the snowball. Can we make a snow angel? Oh, look at the snow angel. <gasps> Izzy likes making snow angels. Do you like making snow angels? Oh, it's fun, right? Let's build a snow fort, says the snowball. Izzy loves making a snow fort. And he likes making a snowman too. Oh, I bet you like to make a snowman also. At the end of the day, Izzy says, I have an idea. I'm going to take you home. <gasps> What's home, asks the snowball. Izzy introduces the snowball to his mom. Mom, I'm going to name the snowball Larry. Pleased to meet you, Larry, mom says. But after a few minutes, oh no, what's happening to Larry the snowball? Oh, is he melting? Oh, yikes. Izzy rescues Larry just in time. You'll be safe here, Izzy says. Don't worry, I'll come visit you soon. Guys, where do you think Izzy is? <gasps> He's in the freezer. Oh, that'll keep him nice and cool. Larry makes friends with the sherbet, with the frozen peas, and all the 12 ice cubes. Oh, they're all so nice, and the peas are so sweet. A long time passes. The peas, green beans, and hamburgers come and go. And every time the ice cubes leave, oh no, their trays come back filled with water. But Larry is still in the freezer. Everyone's nice, but Larry misses Izzy. <gasps> but look, what season do we have here? It's the spring. <gasps> oh, spring at last. Do you know what he's going to do? He's going to take Larry outside to show him this spring with all the beautiful colors outside. He feels so lucky to have seen spring. Uh-oh, until... <gasps> Uh-oh, guys, can we say help? Help, I'm melting. Oh, no. Izzy comes to the rescue again. Larry is safe in the freezer where he tells all his friends about spring. Soon the asparagus, uh, excuse me, soon the asparagus leaves and some nice frozen yogurt pops come to stay, but not for long. Larry
sorry, Mrs. Izzy, very much. <gasps> then one day Izzy comes back. It's the summer, that's right, everyone. Larry goes into a blue box. Look at that. And in the box, there's ice to keep Larry nice and cold. And where do they go? They go to the beach, everyone, with the beautiful bright yellow sun. And Larry is surrounded by the sea and the sand and the seagulls and all the creatures with shells. Larry feels so lucky to have seen summer. Uh-oh, until, oh no, is Larry melting again? Oh dear, oh dear, help! Inside the blue box, it's not nearly as cold as it was before. The ice cubes in the plastic bag are gone. Instead, the bag is filled with water. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Larry made it back to the freezer just in time. Phew. Once Larry recovers, he tells all his frozen food friends about summer. We, we, we remember summer, says the frozen blueberries. That's when we got picked. And the ice cubes and the frozen yogurt pops come and go all summer long. Larry waits and waits. Oh, oh dear, he misses Izzy so much. But finally, oh, we have another season. It's the fall. Oh, and in the fall, the temperature is much cooler than the summer. And look at all the beautiful colors, orange, red, yellow, brown. And look, one of the trees, it's an apple tree. Oh, Larry is so excited to be outside in the fall. Izzy and Larry jump into a big pile of leaves, and Izzy's dog Frankie jumps in too. Larry feels so lucky to have seen fall until, <gasps> all right, can we say help everybody? Help, I'm melting. Let's say it again, ready? Help, I'm melting. Oh no, Larry's back in the freezer again with the pies and the dinner rolls and the frozen green beans and the giant turkey too. One day everything is gone. But by the end of the day, the freezer fills up with plastic containers full of food. Izzy's mom calls them leftovers. Larry waits a long time. Where's Izzy? <gasps> Look at what season we have. It's the winter, everyone. Oh, Izzy is so excited. He takes Larry outside to play. Larry is so happy to be back outside in the winter with his snowy friends. Hello, snowflakes, he shouts. At the end of the day, Izzy says it's time to go home. But do you know what Larry told Izzy? Izzy, winter is my home. I'll miss you, says Izzy. Thanks for being such a good friend. I want to thank you. I got to see all the seasons and I made a friend, says Larry. And I am the luckiest snowball ever. Oh, the end. Oh, what a nice story about the snowball. So I thought before we say goodbye, we could read one more story about the snow. <gasps> Do you guys like to build a snowman outside? Oh, that's fun, right? Our next book is All You Need for a Snowman by Alice Shirtle. All right, guys, are you ready? All you need for a snowman. One small snowflake fluttering down. Should we flutter down like the snowflakes? Good job. That's all you need for a snowman. Two more snowflakes, three, four, five, six, seven thousand, eight million more snowflakes. Whoa, that's a lot of snowflakes. 
billions of snowflakes piled in a mound, pat them and pack them and roll them around into one big ball. All right, everybody, let's get all those snowflakes. Are you ready? We're gonna pack them. And we're gonna roll them. Oh, good job, good job. <gasps> we're gonna make a giant snowball. Oh, all right, guys. Good job, good job. Here we go. And that's all one big, cold, well-rolled snowflake ball. That's all you need for a snowman. For a middle-sized ball and a small one, on top of that, you need a hat, a short, flat hat, or a tall one, too. <gasps> all right, guys, let's make those other two snowballs to ready one. Pack it up, and now two. <gasps> All right, guys, we're gonna place those two snowballs on top of the real big snowball. Are you ready? Here we go. <gasps> One and two. Nice job, everybody. <gasps> All right, guys, here we go. We have the hat. Ooh, let's put the hat on. Are you ready? Oh, let's reach up high. Oh, nice, everybody. Three hand-packed triple stacked balls of snow. The hat's on top where a hat should go. That's all you need for a snowman. A couple of bottle caps, round and flat, stick them under a snowman's hat. Surprise, the snowman's eyes. That's all you need for the snowman face. Okay, everybody, let's get those bottle caps. We're gonna put them on the snowman's face. Here are his eyes, ready? One, two, nice, nice work, everybody. What's in the middle? Oh my goodness, it's an empty space. That's where the carrot goes for the snowman's nose. All right, guys, let's take that carrot out of the bag. We're gonna stick it on the face, his nose. Oh, beautiful job, everybody. We have the hat, the eyes, and the nose. But what about clothes? Walnut buttons, five in a row. Belt in the middle, boots below. Big wool scarf, broom to hold. Mittens in case your hands get cold. Air muffs and fanny packs, something to read. That's absolutely all you need for a snowman. Wow, guys, look at the beautiful snowman that we all created. Wow. Uh-oh, look in the sky again. One small snowflake falling then. Soft white snowflakes filling the sky, floating down everywhere, piling up high. And that's all you need for a snowman's friend. Oh, how wonderful. Woo, the end. Oh, that was so nice, everyone. Well, I wanna thank all of you for being here today. And I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Bye now.